Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kiana and I'm a 20 year old self-taught makeup artist. Um, in today's video, we are getting ready for a gender reveal party that I am running late for right now. Um, I also got a new palette and some new makeup brushes. So look forward to that. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I will let you get into the video and go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hey guys, so before we start today's video off, I just wanted to show you some new things that I got. Um, first, I got this sunset palette from Marshalls and Defiance, and like, it is just so beautiful. I love it. It was only five dollars, and it's from Beauty Concepts. And then I also, finally, got some brushes, and it came with this cute little holder. And the brushes are literally so cute, and they're like super soft. It only came with five, so then I've got my little contour brush, and then I've got some new eyeshadow brushes. So I've got these three now. I am very excited, and then I'm also going to take my old brushes, just pop them right in there with them. Okay, so we are back. I got everything in here. I actually have a nice little collection going here now, so I'm so excited about that. Um, with today's look, I'm going to my best friend's baby shower, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I've got this cute little fall uh, shirt. It's actually a dress but I just tucked it into some jeans and I'm gonna see if I can find some boots. And ooh, I've got these tan heels. Those would look so good with this. I will insert a picture right here of what my outfit looked like. So let me get everything that I need and then we'll actually get started. Right, so I threw some eyebrows on real quick and we're just gonna get started right into the foundation. And today, instead of using my L'Oreal Infallible, I'm going to use my CoverGirl instead. It is nice having a mirror this big. And I don't remember if I said it was a baby shower or a gender reveal, but it is a gender reveal, not a baby shower. hydrating concealer being very careful not to get anything on this outfit because last time I made a video I was being very messy She's already got a little boy, and bless his heart, he is the absolute sweetest little toddler ever, and his birthday party is actually coming up, so I'm excited about that too. Now for the rest of my T-zones on my forehead and my chin. Very cute, and today we are doing some liquid contour. Ow. And this is my CoverGirl concealer in just a dark shade. And I was going to do a pink eyeshadow look, 
but pink would not match the fall vibes that I got going here. So I think I'm gonna do another fall look using this palette. It's got some fallish colors. Okay, back to the concealer to cut. When I was at Marshall's shopping, I saw one of those headbands for your hair, and like, I don't know, it was like really cute, and I can't describe the pattern because like, it was weird, but it was cute. I touched it, and it's super soft. I need it. Now, I'm gonna get one of my new brushes. And I'm just going to tap this onto my contour. That headband would also help me not get a product in my hair. I'm gonna go through with my old brush and just make sure everything is blended. Now, the exciting part. So I'm going to take my big fluffy brush that is like super, super soft. And just tap it in there. Definitely picked up a lot of product. Okay, I'm in love with this brush. That just powdered my face so easily. I should have got that headband. I gave myself like a $30 spending limit. The brushes were 20 and the palette was five. So I didn't want to go over, so I didn't get anything. But the headband was only three freaking dollars and I had five more dollars that I could have spent. Do you see my frustration? Alright, so now time for blush and I'm going to use this and I really hope that it just packs the pigment on there. So let's go ahead and try it. Pick some pigment up for sure. One thing that I have noticed is I feel like these are gonna get decapitated very easily. And I'm very rough with my brushes, so. We'll see how long it takes until I have to super glue. Just going to dip into shade base for some highlights. I do not have a new brush for that, so got these mermaid ones. Uh, I got these for Christmas a couple years back, and pretty sure they were they got them at Walmart. I 
that is my favorite part of highlighting is the cupid's bow even though i cover it but it's besides the point all right let's get into eyeshadow all right so now we've got this gorgeous palette i'm gonna go in with my new brush here the shade the shade and this shade I wanted to go more fall but I don't think I'm going to alright so I'm dipping into this shade here which these shades have no names I don't see a lot of fallout on the pan at least Okay, so that blended out beautifully, packed some nice pigment. The brushes are doing pretty well too. I think I'm obsessed. Alright, so now I'm gonna blend that out even more with this like yellowy shade right here. Just to make sure it's really buffed out. And that's gonna go right in the brow bone. I am so impressed with this palette and these brushes so far. Okay, so I have that all blown out. Now, I'm gonna go in with the shade right here. Right now I'm going back in with that dark shade. So now let's carve it out. Got my mirror, concealer, and back of hand. Just like that. And I'm very excited to have a full handle instead of my tiny little brush. Okay, 
to the recycle. I am going to put the shimmer on. And I'm going to put this one, like right here, and then this one on the inside. And I'm just going to use the same brush. And I'm going to try and like clean the concealer off. Go in with that dark shade first. Not what it did, but the shimmers are always a hit or miss. I also messed up and I went too far over, so we're just gonna try and cover that. So the shimmers are definitely there. You just got to build it. Yeah, tapping doesn't work very well, but I found that works. If you go like that and you like rub it on. Alright, so now let's flip the brush over and get that inside. I'm gonna try and take better care of these brushes too. Like, uh, wash them. I'm supposed to. So there's that other shade. Okay, so my thoughts. First of all, super pretty. Not disappointed. I don't know if it's just because of me and I couldn't apply this eye very well, but this eye definitely went on easier. Not disappointed. Um, I wish that these shimmers were more in your face and didn't need to be as built up like they were very buildable but you really had to work with them i'm in love with this one definitely not disappointed i just wish it was easier so now you know what i'm gonna create like a fake wing with eyeshadow I'm going to use this brush that I did use to darken up my crease after I cut it. I just didn't show that part. And I'm going to go with this shade right here and just make like a tiny little wing. Fingers crossed I don't ruin this. Okay, so like further away from the light, you can see it a little better. Like when I'm back here, looking into my mirror, I can see it. And I'm loving it. Glad that I decided to do that. So now. I love that I have somewhere to put my brushes now. I love this. All the little beads at the bottom. Okay, now mascara. Mascara. Okay, I've got Maybelline Sky High. I will learn how to do false lashes eventually. Today is just not the day. Alright. I 
think that is it. Now it's time for lips. Got this very old lip pencil, but I am in love with this shade right here. It's like a very, very cute nude. I would like to try my lip routine with uh, Kylie Jenner's lip kits because I feel like I do my lips low key the same way that she does. And I'm going to take this and just put it on. There we go. And now, when I smile, I have a top lip. That's why I do it. Because without this little trick right here, my lips are non-existent. And then, since I used that pencil, I can barely move my lips. So now I'm going to use my Glossotopia hot candy. And it is in Cocoa Rush. Yes. And it's coconut flavored. What do we think? Are you loving it? as much as I am because I know I'm loving it. Um, spray. I also want to look into finishing spray because it's all on TikTok because I'm always on TikTok. Um, that there's a difference between setting spray and finishing spray. I don't even know there was a thing as finishing spray, but my eyebrows are bugging me so I'm fixing them. Um, but yeah, apparently there's finishing spray and it just adds another layer to your makeup to where none of it's smudge proof. And setting spray melts all your makeup together. So, I need to look into that. Ow. My brush is like messed up already. That's sad. Y'all can go ahead and uh, tag me in some uh, eyebrow tutorials because clearly I need one. Alright, now setting spray. Oh my god, that was a lot. And I will be back once this is done drying because there was a lot. And this is the finished look. I blew out some eyeshadow underneath my eye and I curled my hair. And it is currently 2 o'clock so I have to go. 
Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I really loved the brushes. I loved the palette. Everything was amazing. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you.